Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Spire of Glory, an auto battle or roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out here today. So we're going to be skipping the tutorial, popping right on in, because I have checked this out in the past. I played kind of a pre-release version. I gave some feedback, and now I'm here to check it out again. So I do know the basics, but we're going to be checking out, uh, yeah, this room right here. Uh, so the way it works... If you're familiar with auto battlers, you know it's going to be relatively familiar already. We have our characters, we have uh, three item slots. However, instead of combining three characters into one to get a higher power of that, that's what you do with the items in this game. So we're going to be running through, picking up different items to kind of adjust the outcomes of the combat mostly. Otherwise, it's going to be relatively, yeah, straightforward right in the beginning while we don't have a whole lot going on. However, one of the big things that is different about this game, uh, compared to other auto battlers, is that we do have the ability to uh, to move. So if there is an attack that is coming out from an enemy, we actually have the ability to scoot ourselves around to avoid it, and then we're going to eventually get multiple party members. So we're going to have to do that with different ones. So it'll slowly and slowly pick up in uh, difficulty and complexity as time goes on. But it'll start off pretty darn pretty darn straightforward. Reduce your cooldown reduction, gain attack damage, and ability power for every kill. Maximum five per battle. Uh, so, I'm going to take the anchor to showcase a different type of mechanic here. This is the other thing. So, we can change into a different character with a different, like, spell, different stats, by taking some of these abilities, some of these items, and putting them in the first slot. You see it has two different things. Slot one, transform the character into a sailor. Slot 2, gain armor for each nearby enemy. So I will do that. Uh, we'll transform into the Sailor character. He gets like a different uh, anchor smash type attack. Uh, but for now, we're going to go through and continue on this path. This is, a, this is a strange thing that threw me. You see this and you're like, oh, okay, well, we go here. No, you can go sideways, and you should. <laughs> uh, so that is an interesting element of it for sure. But for now, I think we're going to be fine to just go ahead and speed up and kill the bats. As long as we get out of their AoE attack here, we should be fine. Permanently modify your AD by 7. How much do we have right now? 55. Or we could get another anchor. Or we could take 3, you know, currency. I'll take the... I'll take a permanent attack damage upgrade. That seems like a really good thing to get this early. But we're going to continue through clearing out the basics. Okay, well, we should be... If we can't kill a bat now, like, I bet you we could probably, with that upgrade we just got, just stand still and smack him. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 160 health. Add 48 magic resistance. Gain two attack damage every two seconds without attacking. I don't think that's going to be particularly relevant, so I'll go for uh, 160 health. Which brings us to 810. Sure. Uh, so the other thing is we kind of have like a mysterious map here. We don't know what some of these rooms are like these the key changes colors every single time uh, that You play the game and it shifts around so you kind of have to Explore that's to keep you from not going to certain rooms that you otherwise would uh, We have ten bucks. I do want to go here though Check this out. So it's a treasure. You do need to get here in a certain amount of time Otherwise, it would be closed so I wanted to take a risk on that right there, since it didn't seem like it was going to be a problem, I don't think. Uh, reduce your cooldown reduction, gain 100 MR and 30 armor at the start of battle that is lost over time. Or increase your movement speed by 24. This seems big. Oh, because it brings us to 69, so it's got to be good. Let's see. Adds 48 MR and, uh, wait, 15% slow for every for five seconds for every enemy that hits this unit. Like a movement speed slow? I guess I don't really care that much. I'm leaning towards either the lantern shield or just the money, but I guess I'll take the lantern shield. So we know that the blue is treasure. So this closes, or the blue, the green is treasure. So we know that this one closes in 16 turns. So ideally I would like to get into a spot where I could check that out uh, before it closes. However, continually scooting up here. Okay, so wait, what is this? This is going to be... This has to be a shop or an elite. 
houses. One, two, three, four, five. This is a shop. I'll go ahead and I'll do the uh, the combat battle here. It's interesting though, like why is there even a key? Why, why hide it if there's a key that, you know, will help you deduce what it is anyways? Okay, hold on. I thought that we, uh... Get out of there. I thought that we'd be able to destroy this guy with no problem. That back got tougher. Hold on, I almost threw. 14 armor, gain 80 shield at the beginning of combat. I mean, use armor as 80. So this is also, uh... And this is just 16 armor. I feel like we go for this. And then I'll trash this right here. So that should give us 14 attack damage as well. Wait, what? Oh, no. Wait. Use armor. It doesn't... It's not add. It's use. So that's straight up a nerf. What the hell? That's why things got bad. Okay. That, that is a full reset on it. It's not... Gotcha, 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 gotcha. That, I thought that it was just like, however much armor you gain, add that much uh, AD or AP. No such thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is an elite. Let's go to the shop for now. I feel like I'm fine to ditch the health if we find something better. I'm going to trash this. If we only have two item slots, I don't think we want to go for that. Especially since we got the big attack damage buff. Gain attack damage and AP for every kill. Max 5 per battle. Gain range and attack speed every time you get hit. So the other thing is we can also upgrade our shop. Green Cocoon. Reduce your cooldown reduction, which is uh, the time until you cast your spell. Gain 7 armor and 25 magic resist every ability cast. Uh, just 8 AD up. 14 armor and close enemies receive 4 magic damage per second. Maybe that's better? I'll do that for now. Sure. Uh, I think this character will end up being kind of our, our tank. As 115 AP, that seems like it would be a lot. Yeah, we have 300. Adds 10 AD. Wait, so why does this give 10 AD, but the, the green gave 7? What the hell, dude? Movement speed gain a shield per distance travel. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and schmoove on here. All right, so this is the elite. This is yet another shop. Uh, next treasure room closes in 14. I think we've got a little bit of we got a little bit of leeway, and if we miss it, we miss it because I don't want to move ourselves out of the spot where we're gonna be okay. Yeah, we should be able to destroy this guy. Two damage per second seems. Is this beans light 34 AP 3% chance for dealing undefensible massive damage I mean sounds cool but we only have three item slots right now until we pick up another hero which I'd assume we do here but I think we might need to get a little bit of money to do so so let's okay we got it we actually got a different enemy now in flames his next arrow dealing damage 100% of the AP and a 50% chance to burn for 10 AP so he does that in a line. So I'll really want to make sure we... I'll, I'll sp speed down because it'll be important to get out of that attack in time. Okay, good. Yeah, I think we've uh, I think we've scaled up pretty darn well here. 22 AP after three battles. Gain eight crystals. Upgrading resets the egg. Adds one range and get a 15... Movement speed buff for 1.5 seconds at the start of combat or every time you attack. If it's a kite, it sounds like it would be after every attack. That actually sounds like a very strong potential item. I'm going to grab that for later. Like if, if I get another character here. I'll fight the elite. What must be the elite? Yeah, okay, so it's a... Very big guy. Goblinkin has natural hatred for everything. Sometimes it's easy to beat the crap out of some creatures without feeling remorse. Well, yeah, we should be more than fine, even as a as an elite get out of there. Oh shoot! Oh well, actually, hold on. We we could abuse that. Permanently modify your MR by eighty-one. I feel like I'm gonna probably. 
Wait, are you kidding me? Maybe I wish I had that, that other item, the convert your armor. What the heck? Okay, so the question is, so there's another shop. I'm going to save that. There's another elite. We'll save that for the last here. So we know that this is a treasure room. I want to set up a path. So this one would be fine. Okay. All right. Now things are going to spice up a little bit. Now we actually might have a problem. I doubt it, though. Amoeba-like creature slugging its way towards its meal. Rush the killer or they will swarm you. Rush the kill or they will swarm you. Okay. Well, I'll move up like this. Let's scoot it down a little bit. Okay. So we got, we got in there in time to attack you. The question is... Okay. So we want to move to the right. As soon as the bat does its attack. Oh, God. Oh, it. You know what? It was not worth it. Kill. Kill, 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 kill. Thank you. Okay, so it would have swarmed. It would have uh, gotten us an extra. It would have split into an extra slime, I can only assume. As slimes often do. Uh, excuse me. Stay there, mister. Okay, that was a much tighter fight. Like, much tighter. Adds 0.05 attack speed, 4 poison damage every second over 5 seconds every hit. Now this I'm very interested in. I, I think we'll do this. These two things together could make a really interesting character. I'll tell you what, let's go here. Please tell me we can recruit a character. Okay, good. For 8 bucks we can recruit a character. Thank god. We'll give them that. We'll give them this. So they can now kite and poison. So we'll have you kind of just going in there. And this will be our, like, our character that we move around a little bit more. Movement speed modifier. All right. We're all good. We're all good. That should be a pretty big upgrade for us. So it's good to know. That's an important number to remember. Eight. Eight bucks is an important number to remember. That's how much it takes for the first character. Okay. Well, this should be a joke. We can even move you in a little bit closer. What's your range? 3.5. Okay, good. Theoretically, this should just be uh, brain off easy win. Why do you have to get... This character gets up close and personal for, uh, for that. Gains range and attack speed when you get hit. Neither of these are particularly relevant for her, so I'm going to just take the money. We've not gotten any item upgrades yet. Okay, so next one closes in eight. I I don't know, man. Okay, again, good. We should be this should be a nice and easy freebie. If we could beat these like we got really unlucky getting the slime and the bat before we picked up the other character. Good god, we could have gotten the upgraded yellow glasses by now, but I'm gonna skip it. So, like, maybe we can get up... Okay, this will be a little bit spookier, potentially. So, you should be out of the bat's attack as long as this guy's close. We have to figure out what's the best positioning so that we can move, like, diagonal. You're in this space. We kind of want you to come up to this one. So that we can move diagonal down left. All right. Okay, oh, thank God. The, the bats are very low HP. The bats are inc incredibly low HP. We are... Getting a second character kind of just changed every single thing. Oh, this is an already upgraded training weights. Uh, gain 3 AD, 15 AP for every kill, 10 max per battle. Or we could get 12 bucks. Now, this is a tougher choice. Oh, wait, you're saying, like, you get that stat permanently, but you can only get 10 in a fight. Gotcha. Okay, well, we should have taken the other training weights then. That may, that mean that checks out. All right, we still have that shot back there if we want it, but I'm, I'm saving it. Wolf, charges and howls, buffing attack damage for all allies. And then you do a piercing shot, so we might want to have you guys on different slots. So that they can't... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Can't both be hit. I'll do it as soon as you move. 
Oh, come on. And then we scoot up. Oh, that actually kind of worked okay. This is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Copium. I wanted to kill this one first. Uh, there's the other kites. I'll take it because three kites would be an upgrade. But yeah, that, that fight did not go very well. <laughs> It seems like, yeah, the, the first fight of every new um, pathway here is it's disgusting. So if we get 20, we can get another character. The question is if I want to get another character or if I want to spend more on upgrades. <sighs> okay. So I think passive passive is they'll attack if something's in their range. I'll have you be aggressive and you be passive. So I think that like I'll have to move well I'll have you be aggressive at the beginning and then I'll move you to passive. Okay. Ideally I want yeah I'll have it be fine like this. Scoot you up. The Howl is a... It's an AoE buff. Okay. Okay, if we, uh... If we turn off the, um... The aggro... Oh, God. Oh, God, she's so slow. If we turn off the aggro, she won't, um... Go up to use her ability, which... Is maybe good, maybe bad. It depends. Add three to your range... 180 magic resist. I feel like we want the person in the front to have, like, a little bit more armor than we want magic resist right now. I could be wrong. I'm going to take the 15 bucks so we can go and recruit another character. Oh, wait. This cross... This isn't, like, go to both. So this is... This goes there. This goes there. Oh, we, we beefed it. Unless we want to go fight this, fight this. But I'll, I'll be honest, if we fight something in this path right now, I think we die. Like, I, I it, the strength upgrade when you jump up one path is so high. Okay, I'll take another character. <laughs> it's just another one of her. Hello. Could we even get there? Three, one, two, three. Well, I'll tell you what. We will... Alternatively, we could go bing bang. Three, two... I mean, I'll fight this one. We'll, we'll fight this one, and then we'll find out. How about that? Oh, this should be easy. We kind of want to kill the wolf first, but I don't know how much control we're going to really have over that. We'll just have them all be aggro, because there's there's nothing particularly big to uh, to dodge for now. Like, obviously the bat thing is... ...annoying. Okay, it's fine. Getting all the way up in there, going for that attack. Okay, I just... Why does the ranged character have such a... <laughs> ...such a close range special attack? I think it's so strange. Ooh, 72 MR, summon 100 heal every 11 seconds to yourself? Wait, 120 HP and regenerates 1 HP per second. That is going to be more relevant, I'd say. An 80 shield. 80 could be a decent amount, but we have regen. I think that maybe we'll trash that, and then we'll just keep this other thing for now. The music is a bit like a little bit uh, repetitive, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit there. Okay, do we risk this? I'm gonna risk it. I'll risk the biscuit. Charges up and swipes in front, dealing 100 AP to all enemies caught. So, okay, in what and what's the visual pattern for that? Boom, 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 boom. So, ranged will have to move. Can we, like... I don't know if we can grab everybody or not. Ideally, we kill the wolf. 
because he uh, he buffs up everybody else. Okay. Get out. Oh, we can move everybody. Oh god, this is chaotic. Excuse me, what the heck? Excuse me, what the hell? Okay, stop. Stop. Oh, that's right, it's the, uh, it's the special ability. You get the hell out. I'm gonna kite you around here. Switch targets. Oof! He almost died, but I don't think it's permanent. Uh, add 20 armor, gain .02 attack speed every second. I think that's going to be stronger than this. Unless... Unless... I put that on you, who's slowly going to be gaining more attack speed and doing more... more poison. That that would be a longer term, like, DPS growth thing. It is very tough to move... <laughs> like, with the, with the way they're... the little... AI brains work of trying to scoot in as much as possible. Okay. So we're going to get this treasure room. We, we did push it a bit. But I think it was worth it. Bibbidi bobbidi boom. Transform into a thunder fairy at level 2. Pandora's box adds 0.1 attack speed. Inflict the enemy with a weak status effect. Oh. I will say, as much as the other one is a legendary, I, I think that for the sake of uh, seeing new stuff, I, I want to see what a new character is like. Well, hello. What's your ability? I don't get to know. I know that you can hover over this to see what the character is. You have freaking 910 health. The hell, man? Maybe you're my tank. Uh, ba 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 ba. I'll take the money for the second one. Yeah, I, I guess I think maybe when I'm in combat, I'll be able to check. Okay, so how? Next one closes in five. All right, we're we're fine. We're fine to go then. I'm gonna go to the other shop. Finally here, see if we can get something. Transform into a life mage. Gain plus twenty to all heals. Now, see that is tempting. That is tempting. I'm going to assume you have really good AP. Right? Like, 455? Yeah. So you're going to probably be, like, more of a mage than anything, I'd assume. So, like, we could get you different abilities that'd be relevant. I'm going to skip the White Hood for now. Wait. 54 AP. Uh, these are both... What? That balance? These are both... Blue tier stuff. I don't know what's going on with that. But sure. So I'll go ahead and I'll take that then instead. I think we'll finally recycle that. We get two for it. Gain armor and magic resist every ability cast. We could take that as well, but I'm going to say nah. 90 HP, gain 80 in AP, the lower the HP this unit has. You know, there's an argument for, like, for going for Pink Antenna and Pirate's Bandana together. That's kind of an interesting synergy, for sure. Hmm. I'm gonna roll, I... Yeah, I was gonna say, for the love of God, I need upgrades. So, 1.5 range. So, you get a pretty pretty good kiting thing there. Wait, what? Adds 0.1 attack speed. Deal 150% damage. Hurt yourself for 20%. I don't know. Like, maybe we could do that with a pink antenna and that with somebody. If you hurt yourself for 20% of your attack damage, but you don't do... Like, you could... Oh, there's a really interesting strategy here. If you take pink antenna... And take Monkey Tail mostly for the attack speed. Because, like, 0.02, you have to get five, eh, five procs of this. Oh, wait. Oh, for a 0.5 max increase. Never mind. That's just so much better. 
it rides. The question is if I want to replace Black Aura. I don't know. I feel like I almost don't want him to be the uh, the pirate man right now. Let's go finish up this other common battle. This should be a joke. Focusing all her might into it, cast a big one centered centered on the target. Deals damage to all nearby enemies. Okay, that seems good. I'm gonna have you be aggro. You be you be aggro from the side so that's easier to move you out. And yeah, just everybody be aggro, but then when they're in position... I'm gonna swap it to this. Okay, we'll kite the slime a little bit here. Good. You seem pretty good. I wish I could see, like, the charts. Permanently modify AD by 9. I'm gonna slap that on you. I feel like a permanent addition, like, just since we have a, such limited slots, that just seems like a good way to go. Shop. So I'd have to go to the shop. Next treasure closes in three. I'm going to wait. I'll go to this shop so that we can go to the treasure. So I will do, if it closes in three, we go, I guess we go one, two, three. Okay. Interesting. So I'm, I'm loving the, the ferry. The ferry is fantastic. The, they're so far back. It's really, really nice. We we'll want to kill the uh, the wolf first. The skeleton's scary if we can't, like, if we don't dodge the stuff appropriately, he's scary. Okay. Oh, God, that other attack blocked that attack, you jerk. Uh, Hermit's Bane. It says summon a heal, so... Does it heal hit? I don't know. I don't know if it heals the user or if it gives us the ability to heal somebody else. But I'm going to go for the shop. Yeah, so shop into... Or do we have the ability to do one more? I'm not sure if it's... Next closes in. It's kind of a tricky thing. Uh, uh, point two cooldown reduction. I mean, it, that could be really good on you. You have seven range at a base. like So you don't really need to kite. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, the kite is kind of useless for you in a way. It'd be better on you. All right, let's uh, upgrade the shop. See what we got. Adds 0.04 attack speed. Steals cooldown reduction on every attack. Is that better? Is that actually better? How often do you attack? Nine. That's totally better. Yes, I know. Like The, the random item is cool. Boost all stats. Maybe. Transform into a rock golem. Okay, I'll tell you what. That sounds like a tank to me. 920, 74, 141. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I'm going to trash that. I'd rather have the rock golem for now. I could have turned you into the, uh, into the other guy, but I think that he has a much slower attack. Boost all stats. Like, part of me wants to buy this to swap out the training weights in the future. Fine, I'll do it. God, we really should have taken that, huh? Uh, wait. 12 AD burns the enemy, scales with 5% of your AD. You have, like, really high attack damage, don't you? Nah. 
You only have 63 after all of that? The hell? I feel like I buffed you up multiple times. You must not be getting very much per kill. Maybe somebody else is kill stealing. Come on, man. Add 10 movement speed, summon a random boost at a nearby location. Uh, reduces 1.6 cooldown reduction. The phrasing on that has me a little confused here. That has me a little bit confused here. Like, the, oh God, how many times I'm gonna, I'm gonna waste so much money? It sounds good. Eight point four. Yeah. Okay. No, that is that is. Dang it. The fact that you g slot two gain two hundred sixteen AP is also fundamentally nuts. That's so good. All right, now next room, next treasure closes in one, so we'll grab the treasure. Straw hat rank two. Add three range, 30% chance to be immune for two seconds after each hit. That's pretty good. But. God damn, I'm so, I'm so upset. <laughs> I think I'll do this. I think we drop the training weights now. That should be good. Theoretically. Okay, so now we go back. We do a little bit of the other stuff. I think let's fight the elite. We have no more... T oh, slimy, slimy slimes. All I know is we need to focus fire. You kind of... I will kind of want your ability to be on that one. What's your ability? Uh, gain a shield equal to 100% of your AP. 80 shield. That's not bad. That's not bad. Who are you attacking? You're attacking the wrong one, in my opinion. Okay, we do a lot of damage. Go. Oh, God, you're not close enough. God, that's so annoying. <laughs> uh, increase your AP by 230. I'll do it. Seems good, man. Maybe we even trash this one. Who knows? 12 bucks. I'm, I'm going back. We have another shop up there. We really need it. Kite, I'm done with that. Oh, come on. Wow me. 15% chance to freeze an enemy for one second. I mean, that actually could be kind of interesting with you, but I'm going to skip it. Oh, Lord. This is not going well. I'll take the pocket sand. I <sighs> trust. All right, we'll get the special pocket sand. 3.2 cooldown reduction. I mean, that's really good. They should be doing some pretty dumb damage. This common should not be difficult. There should be a quick way to do this without having to swap it all. All right, this should be a pretty easy fight. One would imagine. You're on this spot. So none of them are even on the same one location. I'm not even going to move you out here. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we should be fine. We don't need to worry about it. We, we, we created a pretty solid team. Ooh, another poison blowgun for the future. Hold on, though. I'll do two poison blowguns instead for now. I'm assuming that stacks. If that doesn't stack, uh-oh. Uh, another lake. I actually don't have the money for it. Archer, we pretty much just want to make sure that we're on separate 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Separate slots for the archer. Yeah. It's fine. Oh my god. Is there like a hotkey? There should be, a, at the very least, bare minimum, there should be a hotkey to swap that back on. Because it's like, the, the AI is, uh... Eh. The... The character, how much they really just magnetize to the enemies is good with the aggro, but it's also, like, frustrating. It's like a, it's a weird mixed bag. Alright. Elite, I'm a little bit spooked. Okay. Uh, slime first. Slime, then wolf. Well, like, really hoping to God that we can dodge this skeleton. This is okay. Just get ready. Watch this skeleton get out. God, you son of a gun. I feel like range is really, like, really, really good. As 50 AP and uh, M the 180 MR. Uh, it's all good, but I'm going to take this and then move to the... Um, to the lake. Lake first, followed by the shop after. Attack. Is that attack speed? Or I could get another character. I'll tell you what. I have enough stuff to kind of make another tank. A backup tank. I wish that there was also like a, like a randomized... Um, also, how much does this do? Oh, dang. It does quite a bit. I wish that there's like a random pool of like visuals that the characters are pulled from instead. Okay, common battle. Unknown. I mean, that's obviously going to be the boss. Oh, hell. This is getting gnarly. So you actually have more range. You're the one that I care more about. Don't tell the others. They put out some some pretty wild damage over the course of time there. So even though you have more range, I kind of want you to be the closer one. Okay. I also can't tell which one is which on visual. Like, quick visuals. Oh my! Ring of Power 2? Adds 12 movement speed. Uh, stun all enemy all enemies for half of a second every cast. Ooh, Ring of Power 2 just sounds so good. Like, just putting that on you is kind of like making you a... Well, you're just good. You're just gonna be good, generally. I'm going to I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this and then I'm going to replace that, I think. I don't know if that's like going to be a long-term thing or not. I'm not sure if we're really going to get other items at this point. We could fight that or we could go for the elites. I don't know. I'm a sucker for uh clearing out everything. Are we going to die? Maybe. Jesus, what? What on God's green, dude? That is ridiculous. Okay. What are you doing? It's okay. It's okay. We kind of want you to tank a little bit. Okay, so they're all going to get massively attack buffed. Kite out. Kite out. Jesus. That was, uh, that was gross, because they all AoE attack buffed each other. Poison Blowgun 2? Over 46 bucks. This is tricky. Like, this is getting really expensive, but I think we have to. 
Because if we can find another poison blowgun, like maybe we'll skip this and then we'll go to that and we'll find, try and find a poison blowgun. It's maybe okay to like split them up a bit. Well, we kind of want them clumped because of the fairy. Yeah, we want them clumped up because of this. I just, yeah, I, I hate the fact that the main character's special ability requires them to be close range while they are a, themselves a long range character. I'd feel like either make them a melee character to begin with or I don't know. Uh, 2.5 cooldown reduction, launch an ice attack every time you cast. 0.2 attack speed. So that would take five seconds for us to get that. Or we could take the 39 bucks and go to town in the shop. I feel like we have so much stuff that we could... Like, that's a lot of money. That is so much money to play around with here. One upgrade and then we work from there. 0.2 attack speed, just straight up. I... 108 AP. Oh, this fairy wing's one. Yeah, that's worth considering. No? I'm not gonna be able to upgrade that. I'm looking for things that I, like... Oh my god. I'm not gonna get it, am I? Can I find... I have a 22% chance. I have a 5% chance to find that stuff. Uh, I'm looking for... Another poison blowgun... Or another pink antenna. Or, honestly, another black aura. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to upgrade any... Thank you. I don't think I'm going to be able to upgrade the other stuff at this point. That should give us good damage. If it, if the boss is, like, a just a big, dumb, single-target fight... Sure. You're, you're just, like... <laughs> you're just the ring of power person. I'm trying to jam it all out. I mean, what does this look like? It's a lot more armor. Eh. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. All things considered, I'm pretty happy with that. And we can also get one more thing. Ooh! Four poison damage per second to every enemy that hits this unit. Perfect! Recycle that. Just to see what other items we have in here. Slow enemies hit ya. Yeah. I mean, like, we're not gonna be able to get anything else. This is this is it. Uh, as far like as far as I'm aware, there's only one floor currently in the game. It is going to be it's not technically in early access by tag, but the developer has said that they are going to continue to work on the game. Uh, and add more floors, enemies, variety, stuff like that. Oh god. Oh, hello. Ability? Who knows? Great. So we don't have the ability to... Dodge him. Well, I can't make it any slower. Here here goes. I'm hoping this uh, the poison stacks are gonna really help out here. One would sure think. Okay, you know what? Stop it. You too. Also, also stop it. Okay, you're dying. Kind of want to kite, huh? What the hell? You're screwed, dude. Stop. Get out. That guy's going to die. Okay. Move, move, move. Yeah, I know that the rock column's not doing his attacks or anything, but it's just like... The amount of micro that I have to do is not conducive to the control scheme. 
I'm going to die. This is uh, an absurd amount of stuff here. I don't. You're get in to attack. All right, fine. Go aggro. Whatever. Go aggro. Run into the attack. See if I give a darn. Get the hell out. Get out, I said. Get out. Get out of the attack. It's so frustrating. Like, I know I can have the other thing, but then guess what? They're, like, not attacking 95% of the time. You just get in there. I don't freaking care anymore I'm, I'm, about you. I'm ready to die. I'm doing what I can, but it's just... It is it is incredibly, like, incredibly frustrating to try and... Uh, uh, move the characters out the way you want. I got an achievement for everlasting. So <laughs> an achievement for lasting extremely long in battle. And yet... Yeah, it's just there, there's some there's some really frustrating core movement issues, man. Like, oh boy. But like, core conceptually, I love what's going on here. I think that there is a really good framework to be expanded on. Yellowtail, love it. So, by the way, there is there's not meta progress in the normal sense that you would expect. But you can unlock new items that you add to the pool to kind of change what shows up in runs, which I think is very cool. Uh, I think it's a really fun way of doing it. You go to the experience well, pop on over here. So what you do is you have to have 14 items in the pool, but you can choose what those 14 items are. Over the course of time, you'll like unlock more and more and more. So you can really more finely tune and craft the build so that like... The only items that show up will be conducive to the strategy you want to employ. Um, or, like, to the extent that maybe you could just get so many of these glasses, like, whatever. And, like, you know, look at that. There's three of them in the pool. It's much more likely. Like, that's why we were seeing so many of them. We had two in the pool. So we could adjust that uh, more so. I don't know if maybe it would be a good idea to, at some point, be like, you can only have three of a certain kind or something like that. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, like, that's a very, very cool system, but yeah, the, the the difficulty and chaos spike of the boss is so high. Like, the chaos spike more so, because it's just like, if you have to deal with moving multiple characters at the same time in this game and shuffling between the two different modes, you are not going to have a good time. <laughs> it's like, that fight was just like, ah. Uh, the fact is four separate targets and they were split out in that formation uh, with the four characters that kind of, you know, they have the mind of their own, but you have like a little bit of control of them, but you almost, it would almost be better if you didn't have control over them because it would be less frustrating. Um, but I don't know. There's something, it's hard to, hard to say what the answer to that would be. It's like, it's almost like there needs to be a smart system where if a, if you have a character and you manually control them to run out of a fire they should like it almost needs to be like okay that means they don't want to be in the fire i've registered that they've made that strategic decision but like it's such a weird it's so tough to say like how do you how do you fix that it almost would be like it just needs to be slower or there needs to be more like i don't know it feels like the pace needs to maybe be slower but also like i uh, i feel like you have to do too many fights that are just bats but I'd say, like, down the line, when this eventually gets, like, more and more updates and things like that, it's very much worth keeping your eye on. Like, make sure you wishlist it and pay attention to it, see if it goes on sale, see what kind of updates it gets. Because uh, maybe down the line, when they add more floors and more enemies and variety and stuff like that, you can chop down the amount of fights you do. Like, maybe make it so you don't go to every single crystal in a line before moving on to the next. But you, like you know, you have multiple floors after that. That's probably what I would say uh, would be the long-term best uh, best growth pattern for this game. But conceptually, core conceptually, you don't need to, like, obviously, this is so up my alley in the sense of, like, I love auto-battlers. I love, like, when there's, like, a little bit of actual uh, player tactics in it as well as far as in combat. I like a little bit of extra, I like a little bit of extra hands-on stuff to keep the tension up. Uh, but, yeah, I just love a core auto-battler experience. There's a little bit of, like, um, the things I play... When I play this game in uh, its kind of pre-release beta form, there was some, like, massive, 
balance concerns uh, that mostly got ironed out, but there's still like a little bit of remnants of that here and there. Like when I played it before, there, I'm not kidding. It was like a 50-50 coin flip that you died on the first fight or like the second fight. And I'm saying coin flip because it was not like a strategic thing. It was kind of just like that. But that's been ironed out. That's been fixed out. I'm happy to say that that uh, it seems to be moving in like a very good trajectory. Like literally in the one week since I played it last, it's gotten a lot better. So I think that this is certainly one to watch because the developer is paying attention, is improving and is working to do those things. The, the, fear I have is that there's like a core conceit that is kind of difficult because of because of the nature of wanting it to be an auto battle where you also have the ability to move is giving it some some balanced woes that are going to be really hard to tackle down the line uh, because of characters moving into fire attacks and stuff like that happening all the time all the time it's either that you either need to have it so that like you either have the setting on where your characters walk into fire after you walk them out of fire, or you need the setting where they stand completely still like a buffoon and um, and won't attack because they're not in range. So I'd feel like, what's the meta for the game? I feel like the meta is probably stack range on every character and have them all on passive mode. Just, But the thing is, you should... The reason you would do that is to fix the core balance problem that the uh, the design choice brings up, and that's not that's not a great glowing thing to say. Uh, but again, watch it. It will. I'm sure it'll get updates. I'm sure it'll keep getting better. Things like that. Uh, but pay attention to to see if it does. Uh, but alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today. Link in the top description if you want to check out the game for yourself. Uh, if it looks up your alley and, you know, you're willing to put in the time to master the kind of clunk clunkiness that you kind of comes with the systems, I think you're going to have a really good time with it. I think that there is a great framework. And I really, really hope to come back to this in, you know, after a year or something and see that it's grown greatly. Because I think it has that potential. Uh, but less. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.